Morning, everyone. Welcome to St. Matthew's and to morning prayer. It's Friday, the 1st of May today, May Day. Um, but it's also the day in the church's calendar when we remember Philip and James the Apostles. So our readings today are going to be related to them. So I thought I would just read um, from one of the books we've got, just a little, little uh, reminder of Philip and James. So Philip and James appear in the list of the 12 apostles in the first three gospels, but they are frequently confused with other early saints who share their names. Uh, in John's gospel, Philip has the more prominent role. Uh, he's the third of the apostles to be called by Jesus, and he then himself brings his friend Nathaniel to the Lord. Philip is the spokesman for the other apostles, who are questioning the capacity to feed the 5,000. And at the Last Supper, it's Philip who enters into a sort of dialogue with Jesus, and that leads to what are called the farewell discourses of Jesus, which is towards the end of John's Gospel, and it's all the readings that we read on Maundy Thursday in the vigil. So it's that conversation that leads to uh, all of that that Jesus says. James is said to be the son of Alphaeus, and is often known as James the Less to distinguish him from the other James who is Jesus's brother. He may also be the James the Younger, who in Mark's gospel is a witness at the crucifixion. And they are celebrated on the same day today because the church in Rome, where their relics rest, was dedicated on this day in the year 560. So our readings today will be um, Psalm 139, and then Proverbs chapter 4, and then James chapter 1. So let's begin with morning prayer for Easter season on page 263 in daily prayer or on your daily prayer app. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. In your resurrection, O Christ, let heaven and earth rejoice. Alleluia. Blessed are you, Lord God of our salvation. To you be praise and glory forever. As once you ransomed your people from Egypt and led them to freedom in the promised land, so now you have delivered us from the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of your risen Son. May we, the first fruits of your new creation, Rejoice in this new day that you have made and praise you for your mighty acts. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed for us. So let us celebrate the feast, not with the old leaven of corruption and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Christ, once raised from the dead, dies no more. Death has no more dominion over him. In dying, he died to sin once for all. In living, he lives to God. See yourselves, therefore, as dead to sin and alive to God in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who sleep. For as by man came death, by man has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. as we rejoice in the gift of this new day. So may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. So we're going to turn now to Psalm 139, and that's in the Daily Prayer Book on page 861. Search me out, O God, and know my heart. O Lord, you have searched me out and known me. 
You know my sitting down and my rising up. <clears throat> you discern my thoughts from afar. You mark out my journeys and my resting place and are acquainted with all my ways. For there is not a word on my tongue, but you, O oh Lord, know it altogether. You encompass me behind and before and lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, so high that I cannot attain it. Where can I go then from your spirit or where can I flee from your presence? If I climb up to heaven, you are there. If I make the grave my bed, you are there also. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me, your right hand hold me fast. If I say, surely the darkness will cover me and the light around me turn to night, even darkness is no darkness with you. The night is as clear as the day. Darkness and light to you are both alike. For you yourself created my inmost parts. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I thank you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvellous are your works, my soul knows well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in secret and woven in the depths of the earth. Your eyes beheld my form as yet unfinished. Already in your book were all my members written. As day by day they were fashioned, when as yet there were none of them. How deep are your counsels to me, O God? How great is the sum of them? If I count them, they are more in number than the sand. And at the end, I am still in your presence. O oh, that you would slay the wicked, O God, that the bloodthirsty might depart from me. They speak against you with wicked intent. Your enemies take up your name for evil. Do I not oppose those, O Lord, who oppose you? Do I not abhor those who rise up against you? I hate them with a perfect hatred. They've become my own enemies also. Search me out, O God, and know my heart. Try me and examine my thoughts. See if there is any way of wickedness in me and lead me in the way everlasting. Search me out, O God, and know my heart. So let us pray. Creator God, may every breath we take be for your glory. May every footstep show you as our way, that trusting in your presence in this world, we may be on this life, still be with you when, where you are alive and reign forever and ever. Amen. So we turn to our Old Testament reading, which is from the book of Proverbs, chapter 4, verses 10 to 18. In the Church Bibles, the NRSV, it's page 598. Proverbs 4, 10 to 18. Hear, my child, and accept my words, that the years of your life may be many. I have taught you the way of wisdom. I have led you in the paths of uprightness. When you walk, your step will not be hampered, and if you run, you will not stumble. Keep hold of instruction. Do not let go. Guard her, for she is your life. Do not enter the path of the wicked, and do not walk in the way of the evildoers. Avoid it. Do not go on it. Turn away from it and pass on. For they cannot sleep unless they have done wrong. They are robbed of sleep unless they have made someone stumble. Or they eat the bread of wickedness and drink the wine of violence. But the path of the righteous is like the light of dawn, which shines brighter and brighter until full day. <coughs> And let's turn now to the book of James, chapter 1, verses 1 to 12, page 226 in the New Testament. 
James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ, to the 12 tribes in the dispersion. Greetings. My brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of any kind, consider it nothing but joy. Because you know that the testing of your faith produces endurance. And let endurance have its full effect so that you may be mature and complete, lacking in nothing. If any of you is lacking in wisdom, ask God, who gives to all generously and ungrudgingly, and it will be given you. But ask in faith, never doubting, for the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea, driven and tossed by the wind. For the doubter, being double-minded and unstable in every way, must not expect to receive anything from the Lord. Let the believer, who is lowly, boast in being raised up and the rich in being brought low because the rich will disappear like a flower in the field for the sun rises with its scorching heat and withers the field its flower falls and its beauty perishes it is the same with the rich in the midst of a busy life they will wither away blessed is anyone who endures temptation such a one has stood the test and will receive the crown of life that the Lord has promised to those who love him. Okay, so let's go back to morning prayer. And we're going to continue on page 266 with these Easter responses. Death is swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh death, is your sting? Christ is risen from the dead, the first fruit of those who have fallen asleep. Death is swallowed up in victory. The trumpet will sound and the dead shall be raised. Where, O oh death, is your sting? We shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed. Death is swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh death, is your sting? And we say together the Benedictus, the song of Zechariah. The Lord is risen from the tomb, who for our sakes hung upon the tree. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. The Lord is risen from the tomb, who for our sakes hung upon the tree. Hallelujah. So let's turn to our usual time of prayer intercession. Um, we heard yesterday, didn't we, that the uh, that the peak had passed. Um, so we give thanks for that, and let's pray that that continues. And let's pray for um, the measures that need to be put in place for the lockdown to be eased whenever that comes. But also, I guess for many people who are still struggling with all of this, um, the idea that the, uh, the peak has passed will seem very strange to them. Those who are still suffering with this, um, you know, people are in working in hospitals, people are in hospital, people are in care homes, um, people who are ill, people are bereaved. So we pray for them as well. Uh, because this can, continues to be a very real thing for them. So let's pray 
the response we're going to use today, Lord of all, Lord for all, we respond, hear our prayer. Lord of all, Lord for all, hear our prayer. Holy and loving God, we pray for your world. We pray for world leaders who are making difficult decisions as every day brings new changes and challenges. Lord of all, Lord for all, hear our prayer. We pray for our nation, for our government, and for all in authority. We pray that decisions might be made with wisdom and care for the benefit of all. We give you thanks for signs that the worst might be past. And we pray for the continued efforts to defeat this disease. So we pray for wisdom for our leaders as they consider how we might start to come out of the lockdown that we're in. Lord of all, Lord for all, hear our prayer. We pray for our own community here in Usley and West Drayton. We pray for all who live here, that your peace might reign and that your perfect love might settle our fears. We pray for all those who are in need in this community at their, this time, that they would be provided for and be cared for. Lord of all, Lord for all, hear our prayer. We continue to pray for all those who are working on the front line in whatever way. We pray for doctors and nurses, for carers, for shop workers, those working on the transport system, for refuse collectors, postal workers. We pray for our own food bank staff working in our church building today. Lord of all, Lord for all, hear our prayer. <clears throat> and we pray for our loved ones. We pray for those we know who may be ill, for those who are struggling, for those feeling lonely, for those who are confused and conflicted. <clears throat> And we pray, especially today, for the Courtney family as the mourn the death of Paul and as his funeral is held this afternoon. And in a moment of quiet, you might like to pray by name for those who are on your heart at this time. <clears throat> Lord of all, Lord for all hear our prayer and finally we pray for ourselves father you know what is on our hearts and our minds and so we offer these things to you in a good moment of quiet lord of all lord for all hear our prayer amen and the colic prayer today, which is for the feast day of Philip and James. Almighty Father, whom truly to know is eternal life, teach us to know your Son, Jesus Christ, as the way, the truth, and the life, that we may follow the steps of your holy apostles, Philip and James, and walk steadfastly in the way that leads to your glory. Through Jesus Christ, your son our lord who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god now and forever amen we say the lord's prayer together 
our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. May the risen Christ grant us the joys of eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. So that's the end of morning prayer for this morning. Um, as usual, Vicky will be doing evening prayer and that'll be up on uh, five o'clock uh, this evening. Um, just a reminder, um, there won't be morning prayer tomorrow uh, we're taking a break for saturday or evening prayer but there'll be our usual service uh going live at 10 30 on sunday and also we're hoping to have um a sunday catch up with everyone from church uh on zoom i think it'll be 12 30 on sunday lunchtime so hope to see lots of you there then so we can have a, a bit of a catch up and see people anyway have a good day god bless you <laughs>